for a Kansas City touchdown. A punt return of 65 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. A lot of times they want this guy just to try to flip field position. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for him. And he's got it. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. This will be taken short. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And this here offense here last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe it'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw is Garoppolo. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Thirty-five yards on the return. Picked up some good blocks as well. And it's Chiefs football. First and ten. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position, the ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold on. On second down now, Dickerson. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. Into the secondary again. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Good job. Scampering home from 19 yards out as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing, and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it and scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over them. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken very short. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a terrific return 